Hello everybody and welcome to the wonderful world of Miru's video tutorials. Today I'm going to be talking about fellowships. So, what are fellowships? A fellowship is a group of Miru owners who have joined together to enable Miru's to share stumps and food and allow owners to take part in group petting um, of Miru's to gain fellowship regard. Sounds really complicated, but I promise you it's not. Um, fellowship mirrors can share stumps not owned by the Miru owner. So in other words, you can take your Miru off to play with other Mirus, and so you can chat and watch them and make friends and things like that. Um, and more importantly, um, fellowship mirrors can breed with other Mirus who are on the same stump, but come from a different owner. That's really useful. Um, if you want to widen your gene pool a little bit and um, share some love within your fellowship. Why do you want to be in a fellowship, I hear you ask? Why, why should I bother? Well, um, it can be a loads of fun. You can make new friends and uh, you enjoy a bit of a social network. Miru's are very, very social animals and they enjoy going out to meet new people, having a look around in new places and um, the leaderboard part of the fellowship is lots of lots of fun and um, to be in a fellowship that's right at the top of the leaderboard is a great achievement so we want everyone to have lots and lots of fun doing that. So how do you create a fellowship? Well it's very very easy as you can see I have my Miru HUD on. What I'm going to do is I am going to click on the fellowship tab here as you can see it's empty at the moment I'm going to create a new one now what's happened is the uh, Miru's HUD has told me please say the name of your new fellowship in local chat I'm going to call this one toxic Avengers because I can okay as you can see it's come up with toxic avengers with lots of eights that's what happens when you first start a new fellowship and what it will do it will just register in the database and then once you start petting mirrors and and grabbing friends to be in your um your group then it will grow and you will start to rise up the leaderboard as you can see i've also got some already got some fellowship regard on that it's because i was in a fellowship before i I left it so I could do this tutorial we we're starting out from scratch. Um, you can have up to 40 members in one fellowship. I'm Billy No Mates at the moment but I'm going to put that right very shortly. So that's how you create a fellowship and as you can see it's very very easy. Now how do you add your mirrors to your fellowship? Again very very easy. Now I'm going to click on this little chap here click on status and as you can see here it says fellowship click it once and as you can see here it says toxic avengers and he's now in my fellowship now I'm going to repeat that of all the mirror here and I'll see you in a moment okay as you can see I have now added all my mirrors to the fellowship Now, what I want you to have a look at now is the stump. Just ignore that there because I want you to look at the hover text along the top. As you can see, somebody's going to be having a great time when they get a little bit older. Um, but I want to particularly draw your attention to here, which is where you see um, the peace sign. Now, the peace sign basically means uh, it's in a fellowship. Okay. Now, um, poor little Miru56921 is Billy No Mates, but as you can see, everybody else is in the fellowship and has a mate, okay? So what we need to do now is put the stump onto fellowship. Putting the stump onto fellowship is very, very easy. Double click on, you get the menu up. Here you go, you can see it says fellowship there. It's got the peace sign so you can see which one it is. Click on that. The home tells me it's querying my HUD to see what fellowship I'm in, just to make sure I'm wearing it, which I am. And so there you go, it's now come up with Toxic Avengers, which is my fellowship, okay? Now the last thing we need to do here 
is we need to make sure that the food is set to fellowship now there is a click to doing a, a, a trick to doing this and it's in the click you need to do a long click okay so what I want you to do is click and hold down there you go the world berries will speak to my herd to see if it's got a fellowship in it and there you go it's now added so that means that all my friends that come over can pop their mirrors on here and their mirrors can eat if they get hungry okay um, and uh, it also means that the mirrors can here can also eat um, there are a few there's one caveat is if you have any mirrors that aren't in fellowship and they are on a stump that you own they can still eat berries so they're still very welcome to nosh down even if they're not in the fellowship for any reason and I've just missed a tin can oh dear okay <laughs> So, how do you add people to your fellowship? It's really, really easy to add people to your fellowship. This is what you need to do. If you go to your HUD and then you click on Fellows, as you can see, there's three buttons along here. There's Create, which we've already done to create this fellowship. Then you need a friend. I've got one here, the lovely Alison Bluebird, who's one of our CSRs, and she's absolutely fabulous. And because she's so wonderful and I love her so very much, I'm going to invite her to be in my Toxic Avengers fellowship. So what I do is click Invite. The HUD will see who's around. And it says, oh, there's Alison B. Let's invite her. And I'm sending an invite. And Alison, thank goodness, has accepted. So I am now no longer Mrs. Only Person in a Fellowship. And that is how you add someone to a fellowship. Really, really easy. Thank you so much for being my friend and joining my, my fellowship, Ali. Yay! So now I've got a friend in my fellowship. The lovely Alison has decided to join me. And what I need to do now is add a description. So if you click on a fellowship description, as you can see, you get a little clicker there. So you can click on it. It says, please type description for your fellowship on local chat to change it. So I'm going to put the bestest fellowship ever. As you can see, it's now reflected on my head. The bestest fellowship ever, which obviously it is. So there's going to be people queuing up to join this fellowship. I just know it. Right. So that's how you add a description and add a friend. So Ali's been lovely enough to bring one of her mirrors over that she's already placed in fellowship. And she's just going to res Frisky on the ground now. Uh, one thing you have to be really, really careful of is to make sure that if you have any friends visiting or you go to see any friends that um, everybody's got the correct land permissions so that they can actually res on the ground properly um, because otherwise there's not a lot of playing going to happen at all. So there's Frisky, he's just arrived and he's got blue hover text at the moment but that's fine he's going to go and find the stump in a minute but he's all fellowshipped up and he'll soon be having lots and lots of fun and cavorting merrily like a happy mirror that he is that's how you bring your friends over or go over to a friend's place very very simple and it's a great way of of mixing things up and meeting new people so there you have it that's all about fellowships and making fellowships adding friends making sure your stump and your food are all fellowshipped up so your mirrors can eat and they'll be comfortable um, bringing friends over as you can see Frisky is now happily on the stump you can see him on there as well and then that's how you do it really very easy we're going to go into things like breeding and fellowships and things like that in another tutorial but again that is equally easy and it all gonna make your time with your mirrors much more enjoyable thank you very much for watching this far bye bye